This is Daniel Johnson, a 25-year-old student. He was knocked off his bike by a bus and has been brought into A&E by paramedics. Do I have any assistance? Yes, there is an ED nurse who is able to help. Okay. I've put on my personal protective equipment of gown, goggles and gloves. Is it safe to approach? Yes, there is no obvious threat. Okay. Hello, Mr Johnson, can you hear me? Yeah, hi. Are you in any pain at all? Yeah, quite painful all over. Okay. Can you open your mouth for me, please? Yeah. There is nothing abnormal in the mouth. I'm looking, listening and feeling. The chest is moving. There are no abnormal sounds and you can feel breath on your cheek. Nurse, could you give me some oxygen, please? 15 litres through a non-rebreather mask. Thank you. Thank you. And do you know how to stabilise the C-spine using a collar? That's great. Could you come and hold the head stable for me, please? So put your hands over mine and hold the head. Thank you. So I'm checking the collar size is correct. And that is appropriate. OK, Mr Johnson, putting a collar on you now. Going to secure your head in place. Thank you very much. Hold him steady. I'm just going to tape you into place as well. That's fine, you can let go there. Okay, I'm satisfied with the airway. I'm going to move on to breathing. Okay. Nurse, would you mind putting on a pulse oximeter, please? And well, I'm going to have a look at the neck. Are there any obvious abnormalities in the neck? No, there is nothing abnormal of note. And does the trachea appear central? And is there any crepitus? Yes, it's central and it appears normal, there's no crepitus. Okay. Exposing the chest, are there any obvious injuries? No, there is no obvious chest wall injury. And is breathing symmetrical on both sides? Yes, it is. And what's the respiratory rate? 16 breaths per minute. Feeling around the back, is there any blood on my gloves? No. Let's move on to percussion. Normal percussion, normal percussion, normal, 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 normal. Listening for breath sounds. Normal breath sounds, normal breath sounds. Normal, 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 normal heart sounds. And the pulse oximeter reading is 99%. Okay, thank you. I would also like to order a chest x-ray and a pelvic x-ray at this point.
Okay, I would like to now recheck the patient, um, make sure there's been no change. Hello, Mr. Johnson, can you still hear me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. still okay? Yeah, just about. Okay. And I've just checked the pulse oximetry and there appears to have been no change in the breathing, no change in breath sounds. That's correct. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to move on to circulation now. Proceed to do so. Okay. What's the patient's appearance? They appear pink and well perfused. Okay. I'm going to take the patient's pulse. Are you okay to check the blood pressure, please? Thank you. The pulse is 72 and regular, and the blood pressure has come back at 120 over 80. Okay. Right, I'd like to insert two large bore cannulae into each antecubital fossa. Thank you very much. And from the first one, I would like to draw bloods for group and save, FBC, LFTs, um, use knees, amylase and clotting. I would then like to run a bag of warm saline through each of them in order to maintain patency. Thank you. Um, is there any evidence of external bleeding at all? There is no blood on the bed or on the patient. Okay. I have already ordered the chest x-ray. Is there any evidence of abnormality in the abdomen or pelvis? No, there is no bruising or tenderness. And in the legs? There are no obvious abnormalities or bleeding in the legs either. Okay. Um, from the results of my findings so far, the patient appears hemodynamically stable, and as such, there are no further investigations I would like to perform. Okay, so I'm going to quickly recheck A, B and C again. Mr. Johnson, can you still hear me? Yeah, still here. Fantastic. And having a look at the obvious, has the pulse oximetry changed? The pulse, pulse oximeter is still reading 99%. Okay. Uh, so moving on to disability. Can you wiggle your fingers and toes for me, please? Yeah. Great. So the patient is alert and responding to my instructions. And as such, he has no obvious gross neurological defect. Um, could you do a capillary blood glucose, please? And meanwhile, I'll shine a light in your eyes here. The blood glucose is normal. And the pupils are equal and reactive to light. Okay. Again, because that's normal, I'm going to move on to exposure. I'd like to expose the patient fully and check to see if there are any further signs of injury. There are none. Okay. Uh, would you check the patient's temperature as well, please? Thank you very much. The patient's temperature is 37 degrees. Okay, that's normal. So I'd like to, having exposed the patient fully, cover them in blankets in order to maintain that temperature. At this stage, I would also like to um, be considering an ECG, an ABG, a urinary catheter, and a gastric catheter. And I would now proceed on to do a log roll and to perform a secondary survey.
Okay, thank you.